many great human civilizations throughout history. For instance, the Indus Valley civilization thrived on the banks of the Indus River. The river gave the people fresh water to drink. The flowing water could irrigate the fields and maintain the fertility of the soil as well. If we talk even about the present times, many major cities have developed along the banks of rivers like Delhi near the river Yamuna, Kolkata around the river Hooghly, Ahmedabad close to the river Sabarmati and Surat near the river Tapi. From ancient times, rivers have also been used as safe and natural routes to transport goods and people. This has led to more interactions among people from different and far off places, establishing strong social and economic connections among them. Even today, our country has a huge potential for river transport. India has about 14,500 kilometers of navigable waterways, which comprise of rivers, canals, backwaters, and creeks. But that's not all. Dams constructed on river courses have been proven to be useful for many purposes like irrigation, flood control, and generation of electricity. As you can see, rivers are of massive importance in agriculture, generating electricity, transportation, and multiple other areas. All these activities together help in establishing and building up the country's economy. Based on the origin, nature and characteristics of the Indian river systems, we broadly classify them under two major groups, the Himalayan rivers and the peninsular rivers. Now the Himalayan rivers are the rivers that originate from the glaciers of the Himalayan mountains. That's why they are called the Himalayan rivers. On the other hand, the peninsular rivers originate from the peninsular plateau and the central highlands.